Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news announcements for Maxville in St. John, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and on sandylandcenter.org, our website. Today is Wednesday, the 24th of August. It's 97 at noontime here in the square in St. John. And uh, we're going to have uh, sunny weather for the next six days. So the high temperatures are 105 today, 97 Thursday, 104 on Friday, 101 on uh, Saturday, 96 on Sunday, and then way down to 88 on Monday. <coughs> and uh, we'd like to have you remember to uh, watch the county commissioners after the news at 6.30 this afternoon. <coughs> and uh, we, we do have a lot of days with, with no birthdays coming up, but uh, today, happy anniversary to Robert and Carolyn Ives. And then uh, nothing is happening on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, and then on next Wednesday, happy birthday to uh, Bob Toot and Sybil Ronan. And we hope that you enjoy your birthdays and anniversaries. And you have to do a lot of celebrating because you seem to be all alone in uh, having those kind of days. <coughs> and now we go to the most important part of what we do, the, the menus for the seniors. And at the VIP Center in, uh, in Maxville, they're having a tuna salad today, a pork brisket tomorrow, sausage and gravy on Friday, <coughs> then on Monday, baked fish, Swiss steak on Tuesday and barbecue uh, pork on uh, on Wednesday. That makes me uh, wish that I could be at those. Uh, then we have uh, the, the uh, Sunflower Center in St. John and their fellowship meal. <coughs> Oven fried chicken today, uh, turkey and noodles tomorrow, steak teriyaki on Friday, Spaghetti on uh, Monday, fish and scalloped potatoes on Tuesday, and uh, porcupine meatballs on uh, next Wednesday. And I wondered where that porcupine went that was supposed to be running around town. Well, the uh, <coughs> look at the Recreation Commission things next. August uh, 31st. Uh, if the bus is alive and running, they're going to go to the Boot Hill Casino in Dodge. They leave at 8 o'clock, they arrive at 9.30, and they leave to come home at 2.30. And if somebody wants to, there's an option of going shopping in the Dodge City Mall. Then for a few other things they're having, on the 12th of uh, September, at the Sunflower Senior Center, uh, they're having a farewell party for <coughs> Hazel Jordan at 6 o'clock in the evening. And the main dish is provided, and they ask you to bring a side dish or a dessert to share, and a card for Hazel. And uh, so, and then we have on the 13th, uh, the Kansas State Fair. They're going to depart at 7.30 and return at 3.30. And the fee is $16 for a fare ticket and transportation. So you may want to call up and reserve a spot for those things with the Recreation Commission. Then we have uh, lots of uh, announcements about Maxville's 125th uh, birthday. They're, they're having a Celebration Parade, and this is all on September 3rd at 10 o'clock. And uh, Miss Kansas and Jerry Moran will be present. And I bet you there'll be more people talking to Miss Kansas than anybody else. And it says all categories are welcome. I imagine this is in the parade antique vehicles, motorcycles. And a bicycle show afterward in the park. And you can call uh, Kelly Benzel or Debbie Suda uh, to submit your entry. And uh, if you're in Maxville, 
you know how to get them uh, better than we do here over in St. John. Also, uh, on that day, <coughs> the Lions Club are having a breakfast at the VIP Center starting at 6.30. Uh, there's a five-kilometer run planned for that morning. Uh, the parade starts at 10. There will be a quilt display at the United Methodist Church, the Grace Church, um, with a centennial quilt made 25 years ago, uh, one by Anna Minnis, and a new quilt made for this celebration uh, that is being offered by raffle. Arts, craft, food, drinks, bingo games with train rides during the day in the city park. There's a time capsule from 1986. <clears throat> the post office is having a special postulation cancel commemorating the centennial. And uh, anything with first class postage can be presented for cancellation with a uh, 100 year celebration stamp from the post office. <clears throat> The library has a local published author coming to speak and sign autographs. There's a roping uh, rodeo at Jesse Ortez's pasture, uh, a hog roast with all the fixings starting around 5, dance with a live band, Thunder Alley, at the tennis courts that night. And uh, they still haven't decided if they're having a beer gun. I bet they've decided, but they just haven't told us what it is. Well, that's all the news and announcements for today, and uh, I hope everyone will stay tuned to watch the county commissioners. The word of the day is this, we wouldn't worry half so much about what other people think about us if we realized how seldom they do. This is Jim Lakey, hoping you have a great Wednesday and a great week.